I'll quickly now cover the topic of how to download an app onto your smartphone to allow you to access and view remotely the Nightwatcher NVR kit. So it's an extremely straightforward process. So physically what you need to do is make sure that your NVR has been turned on and that it's connected onto your local router. And then you set your phone up to be on the local network as well. It's important to do that and you'll see why in a few moments time. So this overall process is extremely simple. So I'm just going to go, I have an iPhone here, so I'm going to go to the App Store and I'm going to download the relevant app, which is the ZMODO app, okay? So we come along and I just click install, or in this case, open, because I've downloaded it already. And I've set up a, um, a, a, an account using my email address here at uh, sales at freetv.ie and also I just came along and I just put in a, a password here and I'm just going to come along then and click login. So now I have account set up and I'm logged in in the app. So the next thing to do is come along and I actually want to add on my local uh, NVR, right? So we just click on video here and it's saying, yes, I want to add on a device. And it's where is it? Well, it's a, it's a wireless device uh, and it's a smart kit and is my router and uh, NVR everything else on and yes it is on so I'm just going to come along here and connect in here and it's just giving the unique ID number of the kit here so I'd say yes that's fine that's exactly the one I want it's asked me do I want to name it and I'll say yes I'll just call it NVR and then me, so not very original there, but um, you can just give a unique name for it. And that can be particularly relevant if you have a number of them. Now, if you have a password entered where I am, in terms of a protect for your NVR when you were plugging that in, um, you'll have to enter that password here. But if you've left that blank, you can leave it blank at this point here, okay? And I'm just gonna say, well, that's done. And we're gonna come along there. So what it's doing now is, it's looked on the network to find the device and to log into it. It's found the device and it wants to log into it there. So just go finish and uh, successfully added uh, share now. Well, I'll do that later, okay? And what I do now is I just have to come along and I will just type here and I can see the NVR me is listed there. I'll just tap on it and we can see um, our local um, uh, video room, the far end of it here, and I'm just going to wave my hand in front of it quickly so you know it's actually me here. Now, the one thing to do here, and this is a really key point, is you need to make sure that you're not viewing this just over the local network, that it's been opened up so you can view it um, outside uh, from any, any location, okay? So the thing to do at this point is you just close this, click, and we'll scroll over as far as settings. And what I'll do here is I'll just go in and I'm going to turn off my local Wi-Fi. Okay, so the significance of that is it couldn't be working now over the local network simply because there is no local network in terms of my phone. It's just on the, the general 3G network here or 4G network at this point. So I click on this now and I go in and I can view it again. So now we know it's being viewed globally. So what I'll do at this point again is I'll just wave my fingers in front and you can see again, it's me. So we're, we're doing that, and that's just a really handy check because if you can do that with the Wi-Fi turned off, if you go to the far side of the planet and go to log in, it'll work as well. So you can see how incredibly simple it is. You buy the kit, you plug it in, and you follow these steps, and boom, you're looking at it anywhere in the world. So that's it anyway, the download and the setup of the app to allow you to remotely view your uh, Nightwatch or NVR kits.